Today I'm going to share with you something else. Something else say uh, going to find a lowable bearing capacity. So we prefer it with standard penetration test values below the full thing. So the question here is a shallow foundation is placed on coarse tempium sand. The standard penetration test and value below the footing is given by shown below. So the footing is 2 meter by 2 meter. The bottom of the footing is 1.5 meter below the ground level. Determine the allowable bearing capacity of the footing. So here in this diagram, we have SPT values. We also have the depth of the footing being 1.5 meters. We also have the dimension of the footing. We have the breadth here being 2 meters. And the soil is close to medium sand. So the SPT values below the footing starts from 10, 12, 15, 9, and 11. Find anything. So the solution would be we find first the average SPT value. So we're going to find the average SPT values below the footing, of which we're going to start from the bottom of the footing, which starts from there. So we count the number of SPT values. There is one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six SPT values below the footing. So we're going to add now these values for you. For you to find the average SPT, you're going to add 10 plus 12 plus 15 plus 9 plus 11 plus 10. You'll find by the total number of SPT values. So we'll be adding the SPT values below the footing. We start from 10 plus 12 plus 15 plus 9 plus 11 plus 10. You'll find by its number, which is 6. So average SPT value, we got it be 11.17, of which is approximately 11. So soil type is medium to coarse sand. So allowable bearing capacity will be 9.6. You multiply by an average, so you get your answer in kilopascals. So you have an average here being 11. So 9.6 by 11, you get 105.6. So which is approximately 105 kPa, which is 105 kilopascals so if you are required also to calculate the total load to be carried by the footing total allowable load you're going to multiply the allowable bearing capacity by the area of the footing with the area because we have a square here area of a square is l square which we have with the length of a square being two meters so l square will be two by two which will be four so you multiply four by 105 which is allowable bearing capacity so the total allowable load will be 420 kilonewtons as the answer so but you must keep also in mind that the bearing capacity in fine sand the equation 9.6 by n average can be used in fine sands but restricted to lower maximum value therefore allowable bearing capacity is given by 9.6 Average which you get your answer in kilopascals, but should not exceed 308. So, so meaning the value we got here, which is 105 kilopascals, is satisfactory. Okay, so it should not exceed 308 kb. So, thank you for watching and remember to subscribe for more.